I want to talk to you about the indications for using an epinephrine injector. Uh, what we mean by indications are what are the signs or symptoms that you might experience that suggest that you need to use your epinephrine to control a reaction. So again, we're talking about in the setting of ingesting a known or suspected allergen-containing food uh, and experiencing some sort of symptoms. First of all, I want to emphasize uh, the epinephrine is really a safe drug. Um, so this is a medication you might experience some side effects from, including maybe some jitters or an elevated heart rate for a while. Uh, those are going to be transient. They're not going to hurt you. And if you're in doubt about whether or not uh, your symptoms are severe enough, uh, I urge you that you probably should be using your epinephrine. The primary indications uh, are any airway involvement. So some of you may have asthma. You know what this feels like. Others may not. It might be a tightness in your chest. You may have a cough. Uh, you may uh, just feel like you can't get enough air. If any of those symptoms occur, again, in the context of eating something that you know or suspect uh, has an allergen in it, uh, your epinephrine injector is indicated. If you're having a food allergic reaction, remember, you do not want to go off by yourself. Uh, you don't want to isolate yourself in those kinds of circumstances. Um, if you feel like you need to get away from a crowd or whatever, take a friend with you, um, gather yourself, uh, you know, assess yourself, figure out what you need to do to respond. Um, but don't go off uh, and be alone in those kinds of circumstances because symptoms may progress. The respiratory symptoms that you experience um, can range a bit from something that seems perhaps a little bit mild, uh, maybe your voice is hoarse or something like that, uh, to something uh, like a persistent cough um, or something that's you know, really where you can tell that you're having trouble moving air. Any airway involvement at all is an indication for using the epinephrine. You should not uh, wait um, until you're having difficulty breathing if you're convinced that you're having airway symptoms uh, in the context of a reaction. Um, reactions are treated according to the symptoms that you experience. So I'm not saying that any reaction you have at all need necessarily be treated with epinephrine. If you eat something that's a problem and you get an itchy mouth or you have some hives or maybe you even have some stomach cramps, it can be perfectly appropriate to treat that with Benadryl and wait and see. But again, if you have any airway uh, symptoms, you need to treat with epinephrine. The second major organ system that is an indicator for the use of epinephrine is the cardiovascular system. So symptoms there uh, are more unusual, but they can occur. The main one would be if you actually pass out and lose consciousness. That would be an indication to a friend, or if you come to that you need to use your EpiPen, uh, or if you feel uh, very lightheaded or close to passing out. Again, in the context of eating something, that would be an indication. Lastly, if you do have a reaction uh, that is significant enough that you choose to use your epinephrine, you need to go uh, to the emergency room and be observed for a few hours. This is very important because we know that a significant percentage of people that have a severe reaction may experience a second wave uh, of symptoms later on. And so you really need to be checked out, observed for a little while if you have a reaction that involves the airway um, and that prompted you to use your epinephrine in the first place.